Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial on working with sheets inside of a Google spreadsheet. So you can quickly rename a sheet. This particular uh, test spreadsheet that we're using for the tutorial only has one sheet and I can see that on the bottom of the page down here um, where it says sheet 1. If I click on the arrow next to sheet 1 I see that I've got different choices first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. So by clicking the rename choice, I can now name this first sheet master data sheet. And hit OK. And there it is. It's now renamed to be master data. Uh, to make a copy of this sheet, go back to that down pointing arrow and choose duplicate. This simply makes a copy of copy of master data, and of course I can rename this as well. And now I can call this, um, let's call it secondary data. So now I've got two sheets on the bottom of my page. Of course to simply add uh, a blank sheet without any data in it at all, I click the plus sign on the bottom left of the spreadsheet. If I roll over it, you'll see it says add sheet and that will uh, add a blank sheet named with the default sheet and the number that it is uh, at the end of your list. Now to reorganize the different worksheets that you have on the bottom of your spreadsheet, simply click on one of those worksheets and drag it into the location that you want it to go. Now let's say you have a lot of data and you want to move it into a totally different spreadsheet. Simply go back to the tab that contains the data that you want to move. Click the down pointing arrow and choose Copy To. And that will allow you to choose a different spreadsheet from your doc list that you want to import this data to. And it will take uh, that data and it will insert the whole worksheet into the new spreadsheet. To delete a sheet, simply click on the sheet that you want to get rid of go back to that down pointing arrow that's to the right of the tab for that worksheet and click delete. It'll give you a heads up, you'll say OK and you're back to, uh, it'll that sheet will be removed and, and you can move forward. Now let's say you want to hide a sheet so that uh, viewers can't see the sheet or it's, it's simply tucked away from view. Uh, the way to do that is to click the down pointing arrow to the right of the sheet that you would like to hide. I, I do this when I'm importing data from one sheet to another. Let's say I want to keep the um, the data, the master data uh, uh, secure. What I'll do is I will use import range to move that data to another sheet and that'll be found in a different tutorial. And I'll hide the first one so that nobody works with the master data. They always work with the data from a secondary sheet. That way I'm, um, I know that the data is not going to be deleted or anything like that, but they can still use it. So hiding a sheet can be very useful. Click the down pointing arrow to the right of the sheet that you want to hide and simply hide the sheet. And that will make it disappear from the bottom of your uh, worksheet. To find it again, click the button with the four different lines, it's the All Sheets button, on the bottom left. And then you can choose Master Data again or the sheet that you've hidden and it will reappear. So let's say you want to protect a sheet. Now protecting a sheet is different than hiding the sheet. A hidden sheet can still be edited by any editors who are shared on your spreadsheet. Protecting a sheet specifies which editors can edit that particular sheet. So you can have some editors that can only see the sheet. They can still see it, but they can't change it. So to edit the master data sheet, I'm going to click the down pointing arrow and choose Protect Sheet. I see all of the collaborators that are shared on this particular sheet. In this case, there's only one other collaborator. So what I'm going to say is I am the only person who can edit this sheet. The other uh, collaborator can edit the other sheets, but not this one. And I'll say Done. And you'll notice now that my Master Data tab on the bottom has a little padlock on it, letting me know that this one is protected. And that is a quick tutorial on how to organize your sheets, add sheets, hide sheets, and protect sheets in your Google spreadsheet.
Thank you very much.